Welcome to the series Philosophy and Personal Transformation. I am Ran Lahav, a philosophical practitioner and philosophical counselor. In this series, we will reflect on some of the many philosophers throughout history who believe that philosophy can help transform us and can help make our lives deeper and fuller. I call these philosophers transformational thinkers. Today I would like to present to you our first text, a brief passage from Karl Jaspers. It will serve as our target text, as a source of inspiration, and I invite you to respond to this text in a personal way and to share with us on this website a personal story or a thought that is connected to Jaspers' ideas. Karl Jaspers was a German psychiatrist and philosopher who operated mainly in the first half of the 20th century. His contribution to existentialist philosophy and existentialist psychotherapy was considerable. The text that I chose for today is from his book Way to Wisdom, which was published in 1951. And it is taken from chapter 11, The Philosophical Life. For the sake of simplicity, I will skip a few lines every once in a while. The desire to lead a philosophical life springs from the darkness in which the individual finds himself, from his sense of being lost when he stares without love into the void, from his self-forgetfulness when he feels that he is being consumed by the busyness of the world, when he suddenly wakes up in terror and asks himself, What am I? What am I failing to do? What should I do? The human being is inclined to self-forgetfulness. He must snatch himself out of it if he is not to lose himself to the world, to habits, to thoughtless banalities, to the beaten track. Philosophy is a decision to awaken our primal source, to find our way back to ourselves, and to help ourselves by inner action. True, our first duty in life is to perform our practical tasks, to meet the demands of the day. But if we desire to lead a philosophical life, we shall not content ourselves with practical tasks. And to lead a philosophical life means also to take seriously our experience of human beings, of happiness and hurt, of success and failure, of the obscure and the confused. It means not to forget but to possess ourselves inwardly of our experience. 